All right, well, welcome to Ken Island Elementary School. I'm Mr. David Dulac. I'm the building principal, and we are in the main hallway. We're getting ready to do a tour of the school, and unfortunately, the halls are going to be quiet because the children are not yet with us. Um, we're, we're hoping that you're back and joining us as soon as it is possible. Okay, so in the morning, on a, on a normal school day, uh, children who are dropped off by the cars uh, come in the doors behind us. Uh, children who are in the buses will come in this hallway and they will fan off. First grade goes down this main hallway and we send our kindergarten students down this hallway. So this is our main kind of entrance in the morning. Uh, we will filter kids and students down these two hallways as, uh, as their grade kind of dictates. Great. Okay, so we're standing outside of our media center, uh, which is the center of our school. All of our students, kindergarten, first and second graders, will go to media one hour per week. Media is one of our five unified arts. During our COVID period, uh, we're using four of our unified arts. So we're using media, art, music, and PE. The one that we're dropped is computer lab. If we come back to the normal school hours, normal five days a week, then we throw the computer lab into that mix as well. All right, so we're still in that main hallway going to kindergarten, but uh, we now are at the art room and art is one of our five unified arts as well. So one day a week, all of our students, K through two, will have Mr. Blecky in the art room. So we're at the, uh, the crossroads now, we're at the corner. Um, this hallway down is all of our kindergarten classrooms. We currently have six kindergarten classrooms. So the children in kindergarten come down this hallway. All right, so we're at the corner of first grade and our earliest childhood classroom. So down this hallway are all of our preschool, our pre-K, and some of our self-contained special ed classes. So we've just kind of walked a square of our instructional process. And down the end of this hallway is our other Park D classroom, and now we are in that first grade hallway. So this first grade hallway is that main hallway that we saw from the, from the front office. So we are by the crab. Snappy is, is his nickname. And in the morning, under normal circumstances in the morning, our students would get off the buses from the bus lot back here. They come in these doors. Second graders are gonna go back down to its left. We'll show you that in a second. Kindergarten and first grader are gonna go down this hallway, around the corner, and they'll meet uh, myself or one of my designees as we peel off kindergarten down the hallway and first grade to their classrooms. Okay, our final um, grade level hallway is the second grade hallway. And you can see it's right by the other entrance of the media center, right adjacent to Snappy the Crab. And our five second grade classrooms um, are down this hallway. And now we're gonna move to the cafeteria, the music room, and our gymnasium. Okay, so we're standing right outside of the cafeteria, and um, you know, obviously, all of our students, K through two, uh, have a 30 minute lunch shift um, during the normal hours. Currently, it is being housed by our AlphaVest partner, and uh, they offer a daycare service Monday through Friday, I believe it's seven to six o'clock. We're now in our music room. Um, we have a first year music teacher, brand new to our staff, Miss Erica Nockengoes. Um, she is working virtually during this time, or she would be here to smile and wave. Uh, but you can check her out on our board, on our school website, uh, where teachers have done their introductions. Um, if we're under normal circumstances, and, and we're not sure what those are gonna look like, but um, if we're able to do a pickup in the afternoon as we've done normally, uh, outside these two, two sets of doors are where the parents would, would form and then at the appropriate time they're left in and they congregate in this foyer and then we use the gymnasium for our pickups. That's under normal circumstances. As uh, the school unfolds and we have more information, we'll, we'll certainly make some decisions as to how we're gonna do that. 
However, I do hope to be able to use these two back doors for our pickup procedures. Okay, and now we're in our gymnasium. We are so fortunate to have a gym the size we do. Um, this is where Mr. McNeil teaches. Um, PE is one of our five unified arts, so every student has one hour a week where they're in the gym uh, for, uh, for the physical activity uh, curriculum. Uh, behind us is the stage. Uh, once again, that is one of the things that we are very fortunate to have. Uh, you see the pizza boxes? Those are the, the boxes that we have left over from the toolkits that we sent home at the beginning of the year. Um, we'll find use for those, I'm sure. So that concludes our tour of the instructional building of Kent Island Elementary School. Um, what we're going to do next is go back to the office area, and I'd like to take some time to introduce you to the office staff and the leadership team. Uh, those are the folks that oftentimes parents don't necessarily know who they look like, uh, but you obviously call and you speak to them. So we'll put a face to the name. Thank you. To conclude our tour, I just wanted to take a second and introduce the leadership team and some key people who are here during the day that uh, your student's going to come in talk, contact with and you may be talking with. So, a chance to put names to face. So, I want to start with our brand new school counselor, Ms. Sarah Fisher, teacher specialist, Ms. Andrea Hill, and Ms. Hill is in charge when I'm not in the building. So, she is the number two in the building. Next to her is Ms. Jennifer Reburn, our reading specialist. Ms. Lisa Booz, our math specialist. The person who most of you are going to talk to when you call, Ms. Beth. And if you don't get Ms. Beth, then you're going to get Ms. Lorraine. She is there, the two admins for the office. If your child is sick and not feeling well, you're probably going to hear from this next individual, Nurse Ann. And then we would not be Ken Island Elementary School without Miss Mary. She's our custodian during the day. And that makes up the leadership staff here at Ken Island Elementary School. Thank you, and again, we look forward to your return, hopefully sooner than later. Have a great year!